You know, I know you folks out there have always wanted to meet everybody involved in this old wagon business that I got. And I have a very special lady, one that means a lot to me, and I think y'all should meet her. Not the horse, no, no, no. It's my reliable old girl of 24 years, Bertha. She's 385 pounds of burning love here has no bottom in her, as you can see. But she does have a top. The top comes out for one reason, for me. That's to make it lighter to load. But also, the top of that old stove, when these plates come out, you can throw a grill on there and grill up a lot of good beef. So we're gonna get the top. All of these are sort of interchangeable. That's the word they fit, but the eyes go in a certain place. You can see they've all got a hook in them to where you can take them out. They'll fit a 10, a 12, and a 16 inch Dutch oven. Smoke tight. Stove pipe gonna go here directly. Bertha's got one temperature over here, hell for hot. Back here on this side, we call her the warming tray because she'll keep things warm as long as you will. Now, one thing you should know about old Bertha, it's 44 degrees out here today, and I love her. But come July 4th when it's 117, this old gal will burn the hair off your legs, I promise. You don't ask me, ask my sweet wife, Shannon. Welcome to Bertha and all her glory. See how far I am from here to here? That's about 45 degree weather. This is 20 degrees. This is 108, I promise you. You need a long handle on this fork. We've got enough stew on here to feed about 100 people or a little over. So Bertha is doing her job. She will reach temperatures unknown to NASA, I promise you. How hot does she get? I ain't got a clue, but too hot. But you can see old Bertha's probably about, oh, if you let the lid down, about three foot by a little over about 40 inches. Three eyes in her, comes out. This plate here on the front, as you can see, has got a little room here under. That's sort of a vent to try to keep a little of that heat off of you. Got these good casket handles on here, so when I die, Shannon's gonna use it as a casket for me, I promise you. Come on around this way. You can see that old Bertha has got two vents in her here. That's all she's got to draw, and she draws plenty well. Most everything on here is eighth inch, except when you get to right here at the top of this, and this is quarter inch plate. Comes on around, right under the flue of this pipe, there is about a 12 inch piece of channel iron that's welded up here to where it's not a direct draft up through here. It has to come in from both sides. Slows that fire consumption down a little. You can see the warming side, Hitches with these two arms, runs back up here and hooks in a piece of angle iron. It makes for a lot of extra room, I promise you. Stove pipe, hey, we're outside in Mother Nature's kitchen, so we ain't gotta have much, just enough to keep it off my face. We're under the fly of the wagon. It's got about nine and a half, 10 foot that sticks up there. A very versatile kitchen tool she is. She'll do anything that any modern stove in the house will, except there's one other thing. She'll burn a hole in your floor if you give her a chance. I wouldn't take her in the house. She's not house broke. Dog will jump on. She'll do something Bertha won't. Bertha won't jump on, and she sure won't jump off. If I could teach her to load, I'd be a millionaire. We're fixing to give her something she always wants. That's a good cleaning and hot oil bath. You know, Bertha, she has been with me a long time. She's been rained on, held on, blowed on, kicked on, cussed on. Even had a dog pee on her one time. He didn't make that mistake again. Snowed on. She changes colors a lot throughout a year, riding on the back of that trailer and getting dumped off in places. But we're fixing to give her something. Every good woman needs a facial at least once a year. And Bertha's ready for hers, I promise you. 
take an old grinder to it first just to get the top course off because she's going to take a whole lot more love than that. Some of this has been on there a long time, I promise you. Then I'm going to start with a little heat after we get the first layer off. Get her a good and hot, then we'll take that grinder back to it. That stuff will come off a whole lot easier. Make it a whole lot easier to clean, but also a little easier for that oil to penetrate when we get ready to season her back. You can see the difference here. You get her hot, do a little elbow grease with some good used cooking oil. She looks a whole lot better than she did. I promise you she'll appreciate it. You know, there's sometimes on ranches that uh, we don't get to take old Bertha in because she's a little harder to transport when you're having to move camp every other day or once a week or something like that. So we've got a little old collapsible stove. That's a mini Bertha that we take that is just four pieces that pin together. And then it's just got pieces that run across, bars that make a grate, and then it's got a wire grate that goes on one end of that. To me, it's still a whole lot better than bending over a hole in the ground with everything trying to blow in the gravy and the eggs that I'm cooking. But it does a job and it does a good job. I thank old Randall for letting us use it. Well, as you can see, Bertha do look somewhat better. It's called a Bertha makeover. She got her makeup on now. She fitting to go back on the trailer. She ain't like no dog, or she ain't like Shan. She won't load when I tell her to get in, but she weighed 385 pounds with the top out, ain't got no bottom in it. How do you load it? Armstrong. When I can't load it, I'll do something else. I'll take up knitting. <laughs> Home away from home, Bertha's ready to hit the road again. Now I'll guarantee you old Bertha's worth her weight in gold. She has saved me many a heartache, I promise. Also, she ain't caught near as much country on fires as an old open pit would when the wind's blowing about 40 miles an hour. She's a welcome place for cowboys that come in on a cold day, a place to warm, not only just to cook, but to warm your heart. She holds many a coffee pot and has warmed many a feller's belly. She's washed many a dish. She's more than just a hunk of iron. She's part of me and Shannon's life. You know, I'm really blessed to have two women in my life that I love. The first one being Shannon, the other one being old Bertha.